Yo guys, what is going on? Tim Piss here and in today's video I'll be talking to you guys about how you can make your very own YouTube thumbnails for free uh, in this really cool free website called canva.com uh, It's got loads of different facilities that you can use to make awesome thumbnails and I'll be showing you guys how to make them very quick and easily So before we get started, can we hit 60 likes on the video today? It would really mean a lot guys um, Comment down below what you want to see from me in my next video and um, if you do do comment down below what you want to see. I might feature you at the start of um, YouTube videos um, and like say this guy suggested this. So make sure you guys leave some comments down below like Photoshop tutorials, YouTube tips and stuff like that. So without further ado let's get into the video guys. So before we get started guys in the tutorial make sure you go head over to my YouTube channel. If you've not already make sure you go subscribe. Uh, it would really mean a lot. Just keep up the awesome support guys. And without further ado let's get into to the video so what you want to do is just go over to canva.com www.canva.com and today we'll be creating a thumbnail like the one on the screen right now uh, like so it's really simple and really cool uh, it's basically getting the message across to the uh, audience or the people who want to watch your videos and they're more likely to click on it because they can actually see what is on your video and what you'll be talking about stuff like that it's just a great tip guys you just basically need to get the message across in a couple of words not too many and you want them to be, uh, be big as well so uh, before we get started you want to go over and create a new account it should say uh, uh, sign in with Gmail or Facebook and stuff like that and once you've done that you can go over and create a design um, and there's loads of different designs you can do you can even do like Facebook covers uh, Twitter headers and stuff like all that type of stuff but what we are going to do today is go to use custom dimensions at the top and then you want to type in 1280 by 720 but you can also do 1920 by 1080 if you want to um, <clears throat> but let's get into this so once you have opened it up uh, the background should be transparent I'm not too sure but um, what we're gonna do is actually upload a picture so we'll go down to the bottom click this and then upload your own images and I'm just gonna get the pictures of me um, over here and I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with this one yeah I'll go with this one and then you just gotta wait for it to load as you can see at the bottom over here it's loading um, just wait for this to load doesn't really take that long and then uh, it does take a while right now to actually pop up so we'll just wait for that so guys once it has uploaded as you can see at the bottom I've just realized you've actually got to click on the one you want to use um, so I've got two here I'll just Right, just delete that um, and basically as you can see I've got the bandy cam thing at the top so I'm gonna make it bigger just so you can't see that uh, it'll look a lot better and then to move it a bit to the right so once you've done that we want to add some text to this so uh, what we're gonna do is go over to the text and, um, and there's loads of different text you can choose from as you can see if you go down they're all free um, but we're going to go to the top and add a heading and then we're just going to put how to make a like so and then we're just going to change the font I think I'm going to choose um, what was it I, there's loads of different cool fonts you can use guys so uh, I'm just going to keep scrolling down um, I don't really remember which one I used so I think I'll just go up uh, and you just really want something bold you don't want anything too fancy unless that's what you're going for but I think I might go with this one right here yeah I do like this one I'm just gonna make it bigger um, so you just go over to the top uh, I'll make it 56 something like that and I'll move it along by just click and dragging how to make a and then once you've done that we're going to go over to elements and then go to uh, shapes was it yeah shapes and then go to this one right here and then just make it like a rectangle and you want it to be directly behind the text right here like so and as, as you can see it is in front of it so you just want to go to arrange and put back so it looks really cool so far looking nice um, and then you want to go back over to the text and scroll down 
and I think, yep, it's this one over here. Uh, I really like this one, as you can see there's loads of different ones, but uh, just like the thumbnail I showed you before, I'm going to use this one. And um, by the way guys, this is in full caps, so um, that's why it does look a lot better in my opinion. So I'm just going to move it down, oops, uh, let's move it down like so, and I'm just going to make it bigger. Maybe a bit bigger. Um, so that does look good. I'm going to place them both down at the bottom if I can. Like so. So now I've got that. It does look really good. But we're going to add one last thing to this thumbnail, guys, just to top it off and just to show the person who's searching it up what um, we're actually creating the, um, the thumbnails for. So as you can see, there's loads of different icons and stuff, which is really handy. You don't have to go into Google, um, all you've got to do is just scroll down and look for what you want. But we're going to go down to the social media icons, after a while they do pop up. You can also search if you want, maybe we'll try that. There we go, there's the YouTube logo. So that's really helpful, I didn't actually notice that myself. It's really cool. Yeah, you can either put it there or you can put it right next to it like so. So basically that is it for this tutorial, it's really easy. I will be doing another uh, thumbnail tutorial very soon for you, for you guys who already know how to do this type of stuff but you want to do it in Photoshop. I will be doing it in Photoshop very soon so stay tuned. Smash the like button guys, keep up the awesome support. Like I said at the start, can we hit 60 likes? And also guys, uh, we're either very close to 2.7k by the time this video goes up or we've already hit it. So make sure we try and get to that as soon as possible and let's just keep reaching for the 3k. Uh, and yeah guys, I hope you enjoy. I hope you see you guys.